Hello everyone, welcome to Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop. This is a management potato based game. We'll just jump right in and see what it's all about. Agent 46, huh? Humph, where is that silly spud? I said to meet me here in the morning. He's really not like his grandfather in any way, going by the letter he sent back. Dear Mr. Agent, of course I'll come. What's good to eat in that part of town? <laughs> that silly, empty-headed fool. Of course, it's all the better for me to- Hey, Mr. Agent, is that you? Oh, you're here at last. Sorry, I got lost. All right, I've been waiting all morning. Stand back for my welcome spiel. <clears throat> Hello, you must be the grandson of Batata, the legendary potato smith. As the late Batata's only grandson, you have inherited your grandfather's legacy, his blacksmith shop. I was your grandfather's trusted partner, and we had an agreement where I own 99.9% .9 of this weapon shop. The 0.01% he owned would now be yours. I hope that one day you too can become a legendary potato smith like him. Let's work together and earn lots of starch. Oh, wow. Hang on, starch? Is that what we're made of? Uh... Yes, but it's also our currency. You do know what starch is, don't you? Oh, starch. Yeah, I'm, I'm not very good with it. Mom's been giving me pocket money for years. Right. Well, don't worry. I'm great with it. I'll help you with complicated finance stuff and expand our business worldwide. Together, I'm sure we can make lots of starch. Yay, but how? Well, for starters, you're going to need to forge powerful weapons to do that for us. Here, let me teach you how. All right, I can't wait. But first, do you have anything easier than pat patatalata kartoffel pea r dapel papa? That I can call you. Yeah, anything easier would be great. <laughs> oh, all right, here we go. Jumping in. You know what? Patata shop. One bad Terran running Patata Shop. Cause I like that, Patata Shop, that, that's good. Let's get tutorials you have seen. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I guess it, I, I jumped in, I played for about 20 minutes, just to kind of get a, a feel for the game. So if it'll give me the option to skip that, that'll be good. All right, pause, so. The basics of this game, from what I've learned in the tutorial, and it looks like it won't let me access everything yet, so I still have to go through some tutorials, but you have these smiths. So down here, so we have Laura Craft, haha, Bulk Bogan, and Russet Peters, all of which, of course, potato-based puns. We will have a lot of those, believe me. Each smith has their own ability. So we look at Laura Craft here. Uh, comes down to having attack, speed, accuracy, and magic each has its own color. So attack, speed, accuracy, and then magic comes later. And then they are they have their base abilities. So designer level one, and so that's for uh, making weapons, for forging. Explorer to discover more items when you send them out exploring. You can, being the owner of the shop, you can send your smiths out to do things for you. Uh, and then merchant, buying and selling weapons and building materials. So they each have different levels, uh, and then happiness based off of their performance, and each of them do their own little things. So uh, also how much they cost, and of course sending them out, uh, let them rest on standby, or firing them if you don't like them anymore, or if they cost too much. So they're all different, they all do their, their, their different things. Right now the game is paused, you can see the speed up at the top. We have the month and day, the time and the weather, our current objectives all up in the top right and the top left. We have number of smiths we're allowed to have, the profile shop progress, fame, uh, number of tickets we have which will come in later, uh, our level, and then our starch, our money. So we, <laughs> we have to pay 600 but we only have 500 so we need to make some money at the end of this month. Of course a month is quite a while to make some money here. So shop profile, nothing really to talk about because we haven't done anything. So, what do we do? Well, we click on this giant red button called Forge. Right here in the bottom, we can make a dagger, which uh, Klepto Kid 
over in Noob Village. And we'll get, to, of course, to all that later. He, being a thief, loves daggers. We also have a bow we can do. Terry Treehugger and Alwyn Greenwood both enjoy this. They like bows. They just like axes. But we don't have enough ropes, so we can't make any. And then, of course, we have the axe. But then we need bronze to make the axe. So right now, all we can make is a dagger. Because that's all we have, and we're not allowed to go to the world map. The world map button's right here. It's grayed out. We gotta make a dagger first. So, we'll start making a dagger. There we go. So now all the smiths will work on it for a while. We'll go ahead and speed this way up, because you can see the progress right here. So they will all work on it, keep giving nice little buffs, doing their little dance and getting all the animations going. And when it finishes here very shortly, we'll just go ahead and leave this named Dirk the First. Did I just capitalize that I? I did. Dirk the First. That's really good. So we're 20, 20, and 20. Nice and even, well balanced. The primary stat has been strength, because if it's a... If they're all equal, it goes left to right for primary stat and onwards. So, now we have Dirk the First. I can't believe it! My first weapon! Don't go all starry-eyed on me, one bad turn. We're not done yet. There are tons of heroes around the world who need new weapons. Now that you've made a weapon, you need to sell it to them. I feel so happy. So happy I feel like singing. Let's get down to business to forge some weapons that's from mulan if you guys don't know let's get down to business to defeat the huns that's, that's a mulan reference be quiet i'm not done yet selling weapons to heroes lets them fight more monsters which in turn lets them earn experience and level up the more your weapons benefit a hero the more fame you'll receive so how do i know if a weapon benefits a hero i can't follow him out into battle or can i Pay attention. There's no adventuring here. You're a blacksmith. Aww. Aww. The heroes let you know if your weapon is beneficial or not by giving it a grade. You might have made a really awesome staff, but giving it to a rogue who has no use for it at all, you're not going to score very well. That sounds like school. Not really. You just need to pay attention to heroes' likes and dislikes. You got that? <laughs> yes. Cheer up, one bad tear. It's not that difficult. Now, how about continuing your song? That should cheer you up. Oh, you like my singing? I'm gonna sing a lot more from now on. Why well, I didn't mean that. And I don't know this reference. Did they send me flowers when I asked for iron? I, I don't actually know that reference. Do you guys know? Let me know. No! All right. Pause. Sell your first weapon. So we go to the world map. We sell! And I already did all this, but it won't let me skip it anyways, so whatever. We go to New Village. It's the only place we can go. We click on the weapon we want to sell, Dirk the First. Then we choose a smith we want to send. We'll send Laura Craft. And then start selling. This is the heroes that we can find there, so go and get that going. We'll wait for her to come back. We can see her progress down here in the bottom left. So, she's selling weapons in New Village. Go and speed it up. All right, we got an offer. There we go. Wow. Okay, so we'll get plus five levels on either of these guys, right? Or plus four levels on this guy. And we can see that just uh, by how much the bar fills up as well. This guy wouldn't even get one level, but he'd get most of a level. Uh, and then how much money they're willing to give us, how much starts they want to give us. So, 241, we'll go ahead and start with that. Primary, primary stat is attack. He likes it, so we'll sell it to him for 241 starch. So then we'll get updates down here of what's going on in the bottom right, wet sap. And she sold it. There we go. So now we got a B on the Dirk. I recommend you to my fellow guild members. Fantastic. And when we do that, Laura Craft comes back, we gain some fame and some starch. And Laura Craft can come right on back to here. And we sold our first weapon. Now we can forge another one. Laura Craft, of course, is very, very happy. 
Uh, but she came back with a special thing. She's conceitful. So magic, her magic ability is down 45% and her accuracy is down 10%. But that's really not a big deal because she's on strength. So it works out okay. So now we have enough materials we can make another Dirk. So we'll start the progress again. And now this time we can boost. So this is uh, a speed type weapon. So let's go ahead and boost speed. Now we can either boost speed by approximately 78 if we want to uh, hire this person for 392, or we can use our person we already have, Bulk Bogan, uh, and boost it by approximately 17. So let's go ahead and pay the 392. I never did this. We'll pay the 392 to boost it by about 78. So start boosting. All right, so each of these pluses are going to be added directly in here at the end, and we'll see how that works out. Only plus 32. That's about half of what I uh, was told I was going to get. That's a little frustrating. But we just saw some level ups here, so we're getting uh, some good progress. Obviously, speed's going to be the big, big stat here. Dirk the Quick. The Quick. Quickie. We'll do Dirk the Quickie. Ta-da! 49. That's pretty darn good. So now we can't make anything else anymore. We need to sell the weapon again. So, we'll go to New Village and sell Dirk the Quickie. And we'll go ahead and send... Uh, we'll send Bulk Bogan for that. And then we need to go to the world map. We need to buy some items. So we'll go back to New Village. And we should probably get, uh, I would say, whoops, we can't buy super much yet. Let's see, we have 349 buckaroonies is all that's left. So we can buy 15 total iron, which would be three more dirks. Can we buy any bronze? We could buy one bronze. Let's sack five iron. We'll buy two bronze. Uh, and that'll be it for now. That'll be good for now. You know, actually, we'll buy a magic dust. I've never bought a magic dust. We'll have a magic dust here. And we'll send Laura Craft for that to go buy, because she already has some merchant experience. Now, uh, this guy that's left over, it'd, be, it'd make sense to put him on standby, right? But somebody has to be in the shop no matter what. So we just have to sit and wait. The bottom left, we can see what's going on. What's dappening? We got something from Bulk Bogan. Wow, 1,179. We'll gain two levels. Or we can give it to the Thief, who will pay slightly less, but will gain a lot of levels. And, of course, that will benefit us greatly in the long run. So we'll go ahead and get the bonus levels on this Thief in Noob Village, who absolutely <laughs> loves daggers. All right, Klepto Kid, 947. We'll see if we can get anything else out of it. Bring Laura Craft back. She got us a 17 buck discount. And we have a whole bunch of resources. So, welcome back, Laura Craft. And Bulk Bogan. Didn't get any bonus, because, well, he's not very good at selling stuff yet. Got an A quality, which means we will get a lot of fame out of this. So our fame's at 42. We got plus 56. That's some pretty good fame. All right, so now we have lots of money. We sold a weapon. There's our little thing. We can now, now it says, of course, you can buy. It wants us to buy five ropes. Now, of course, we could do that. Uh, or we should do that, really, is what it comes down to. So. Uh, we're actually going to buy, uh, yeah, I like 10 ropes here. We'll buy 10 ropes, and we'll send Laura Craft, get her merchant ability up. And then we'll put Bulk Bogan on standby for just a little while. So he's going to go rest, hopefully feel better. She's going to come back with some ropes. There it is. We got 30 saved. Well done, Laura. Already getting better. 
All right, now we got to forge a bow. So bulk bogan, you had a little bit of rest back in here. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit better. Now, forge a bow is what we got to do next. So we can actually forge a lot of these. That's why I bought 10. We can forge a ton. Boost speed, bulk bogan. Go ahead and do that. Got a plus three, another plus three, another plus two, okay. Hey, a plus three. Nice, plus four, all right. Plus 15 total, speed boost, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, here we go, short bow, we'll leave it as just a short bow. Primary status speed, it's not bad. Now what would you like us to do, game? Get an archer to level six. Well, we can go ahead and just keep forge room here. We got just enough for the hand axe. It's a strength and accuracy based weapon. We'll go and get the axe, and what's up? There's a 10 meter wall of water coming right at you. Grab onto something. The weapon you are forging has been damaged. Okay. Kind of weird, but sure. Laura Craft, go ahead and craft. Design it up. Make sure the, oh! Whoa, look at that, she's getting some bonus in there. Wow, she got some extra speed to go with that. That's pretty good, never seen that before. Well done, Laura Craft. Well done. All right, we're gonna be done here. Hand axe. Very good. 32 strength. We got a lot of extra speed there unexpectedly. I like it. Go ahead and make another dagger, it's a speed weapon. So boost the speed, bulk bogan, getting really good at this crafting stuff. What do you got for us? Wow. Wow, look at all these awesome ones. That was not bad, it's plus 17. All right, I like it, I like it. Let me just go ahead and keep forging for a while and we'll go on a selling spree shortly. Regular old Dirk, very nice. All right, make some more bows. This could be accuracy or strength based. We'll go accuracy this time. We haven't done that yet. Russet Peters, you're working on it. So far, so good. Okay, got five rolls on it, not bad. Plus 14 on the accuracy, I like it. Churn through, and there it is. Bow short. Very good, lots of strength, lots of accuracy. It's what you like to see. We can just keep on forging away. Forge, 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 forge. And uh, we'll forge some more accuracy out of it. Give it a chance, you know? Give it a chance. Only got four on that one, but that's okay. Should still be very solid. 60, 70, 80, 90, ho! Short bow short. All right. I feel like this one's slightly worse, but that's okay. All right, keeps making some of these bows. We'll go strength boosting this time, Laura Craft. Get that extra speed stat in there because she apparently is awesome. Very good, very good. Plus 18, plus seven. It's just, wow. She is just rocking it, man. Laura Craft is just amazing, seriously. Bow short bow. That's really solid. I really like it when she works on it because that does give you that extra speed. Uh, but accuracy really matters more than speed with the bows. But it's okay, I guess. Last thing we're gonna go ahead and forge this episode. We'll have her work on it one more time. I really like her working on it because it does give it the extra speed. Even if speed doesn't matter, it's more stats. Because she's churning out the same main stat buffs as uh, Russet over there. But she's also throwing in that extra speed. Which, you know what, it, it matters, it helps, it's a good thing. All right, Laura Bow, Bo, Bo, not Bone, nah, <laughs> Bone. I like it. I like it. Bone Bow, Bone Bow. Ah, 
That's not how you spell bone, just for it. If anyone's wondering. Wow, look at this. This actually might be one of the best ones we've ever made. Very, very good. Very, very good. So, last little bit, we'll go sell weapons to New Village. And we will be calling it an episode here very shortly. So, we'll go ahead and first sell, I think, our best bow. Give that to Laura Craft to sell. And then, can we sell more than one? Is that, can I just like, oh my goodness, I can sell all sorts of things. I didn't know. I didn't know. All right, well, we'll sell our two accurate bows. And we'll give that to Bulk Bogan and see, see what's better. Do we want to sell two or one at a time? I don't know. Russet Peters, you can just chill. So that's it for the first episode of Holy Potatoes Weapon Shop, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. The best thing you can do for the channel is share the video on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. And of course, thank you to all my Patreon supporters, Amphit and Siamayam. Greatly appreciate the support. If you want to support Patreon, the link is down below. And I will see you guys all next time with more Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop. Let me just, can I save that? It just says auto. You know what? Save. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. DFTBA.